Hi guys. Right. So, so far we have engraved, well, I have engraved <laughs> um, the body of the giraffe, a little bit deep, um, slightly intaglio, and I have polished uh, the background where I want it to have a half turn because the background of the giraffe is a dark colour. So I've put the shading in and everything and now all that's left to do really is add all the little white markings. So I do not want to engrave deep because those markings are um, same, they're all the same level as the background colour, it's all the hair and um, well whether it's the skin and hair I'm not sure but it's certainly the hair. So um, if you engrave deep it's going to look like that is raised up and we don't want that at all. So um, I will be then drawing on the shapes before I engrave them so that I'm happy with them and then using a sharp little diamond tool, a little diamond burr, I'll be able to pick up the shapes and go with the flow because it's hair um, they will be little strokes of hair, white hair, um, in the correct direction. So you don't want horizontal strokes where the hair in that part of the giraffe actually grows downwards or something like that. So um, I haven't got a really close photograph but you know roughly which way the animal hair grows and in fact I might have a look on the internet at some close-up photographs. And that's where the internet is really useful for reference um, for something as simple as that, which seems to be simple, but it is actually really important. So, um, right, let's get on with that now. Okay, I've started to add a little bit of detail into the head, which I've had to do um, without you guys because this is for a client and I really needed to concentrate so hopefully you can see that I have started to add a little bit of highlight gave him some um, eyelids a little bit more definition and that's the start of the head proper now what I wanted to show you because I wish you could feel this because it's it feels smooth with deep edges. Okay, so what I was oops, I want help. So what I was going to do Okay, so what I was going to do was draw on here. <laughs> but then I decided it's easier to see if it's wet, obviously because um, it makes the engraving go dull so then I can see the shapes a little bit better you won't be see, able to see that from that angle so I'll show you this way um, and then obviously I can't use the the little pen on top of the wet surface so I am going to take um, the, a little little diamond burr okay what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to sharpen it first because it is a little bit um, worn on the top oops um, so here we have the burr and I'm just going to take the top of it so that it gets down to the fresh this diamond. This is a little green stone that I'm using. Okay, that should be enough. And let's just wet that again. Oh. A little tricky to see, but I, all I want to do. Oops, Okay, those top bits are not very clear. And I'm just going to do a very, very dotty shape. 
horse racing roughly because then I will put the details of the hair in since I've done this I'm just lightly jumping along I'm closing one eye as I did earlier on to get down to a 2D as opposed to a 3D image I can't really see what's going on here but no, I can't really see it but I have to that's alright, I'll make up the rest but we've got the basics Just a very rough outline uh, of the details and then I will go over with the little diamond in the direction of the hair creating little little hairs on the surface So as you can see, I've done a lot of, well, all of the uh, white markings on the giraffe. And now I'm going to add his little bit of hair on the back of his neck using a white Arkansas with a slightly sharpened, flattened top um, just to give it that little hair-like effect.
and I'm going to take a little brown rubber and this will just make it that tiny bit dark and I might just keep the darkness to the the very very edge and the white oak Kansas does actually dig in quite successfully into the glass so now it is leaving that little ridge like hairy ridges in a very soft very soft tone how much of this can you see you might be able to see that this sort of size diamond burr and just I hope my head is not getting in the way go over this again where there are very white areas Just going to take the grey rubber again, that grey rubber again, and just go over some areas some of these darker there is the cases where the middle of these patches is darker and it sort of blends outwards especially the large areas they're sort of patchy they're not a solid color This should show up better once I've cleaned it off. And you can see how that's shaping into a point. And while I've got that point, I'm just going to chuck it into the middle of its eye again. disc and it's just going to whiz around a little more efficiently for me and I'm just going to dot it around here where there's some darker patches and even if it goes on the lines, some of the lines are tough enough to take that. And there's some shadows underneath his knees, and the lower part of the leg is a little bit darker. I'll be cross if you can't see this if my head's in the way again.
<laughs> the more I look at him, the more I look at him, the more it looks like he's wearing pajama pants. But then he is. <laughs> Probably about 50 miles an hour at the moment. I hope I can get home all right. Now he's got a big shine on his bottom, so I think that's probably shiny enough. I will leave it like that. Oh, he's looking lovely. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, what do we have to do next? We have to sign, sign and date the work, always. And it mustn't be in your face and shouty. A collector told me once that he likes to be able to look for the signature. So I'm just gonna Hey ho! There you go. Just the year, not the actual date. Of course, you know my my surname, my married name is King, but my professional name will always be Pike. Obviously, because there's thousands of bits of glass. Sorry, I just touched that up. Thousands of bits the, of glass around the globe. And so um, it's quite important that I keep my professional name for that reason. And also my sons will always be Pike. And it's nice that they know their mum as a professional is still Pike. Okay, but otherwise I'm Mrs. King. I like that. Sounds quite grand. <laughs> right. Okay, so using this little white Arkansas, I'm just going to add a hint of ground. I don't want too much, so I'm just adding a few bits and pieces here. Remember he's stood on the grass <laughs> so some of it is flat. to do because I don't want um, I don't want to take away actually I might just add a little bit of hint of ground just a hint of ground under there as well so very very slight very simple um, just to give him something to stand on because it's not a flying giraffe <laughs> right, so there you are, Mr. Giraffe, with a little bit of writing on the, the bottom, um, which is obviously sandblasted. And 
he's finished. I think he's quite gorgeous. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.